Our next group of change makers focused their efforts on the same topic that inspired Craig Kielberger, the co-founder co of WE, to create WE Charity when he was just 12 years old. Earlier this year, classmates at Brazil Secondary School in Trinidad got together to use their voice to continue to fight against child labor. After participating in CNN's My Freedom Day, this group created their own action plan to spread awareness about this global issue. So let's welcome these incredible students to We Day Connect all the way from Trinidad and Tobago. Your weather's probably way better than it is here today in Seattle. Hello, Brazil Secondary School. Hi. Hi, thank you so much for being with us today. Your WE group planned a full day of activities to continue the conversation around eradicating child labor. So tell us what the day consisted of. Hi everyone. Um, I'm so excited to tell you what we did. So, so the day's activity started with a special assembly in which we introduced the children to the issue with a song, Today Stop Child Labor by Elna Ma. This song was followed by a brief analogue in which the plight of the fairy tale, the fairy tale heroine Cinderella was compared to the life of 10 million children that are victims of child labor today. Um, Cinderella had a fairy godmother, but these children had no fairy godmother. Instead, they were stuck in grim, desolated in lives, which they were exploited there. The second activity planned for that day was a silent protest against child labor. Students from different classes stood and held a poster. This poster contained a short message for child labor. The students stood in silence. For victims of child labor have no voice. I was in the of the flash book during the lunchtime prayer, which took a form of a dance to a medley of three songs. The first song, first song, Break Every Chain, symbolizing to break the chain of child labor, which bind children to the pressure. <laughs> the, the other two songs, like saying to child fun and the vibrancy that kids are supposed to. Well, I love how much thought was put into each activity, and that's not where it ended. You all finished the day by creating a tunnel experience. Can you explain what that experience was and the message you were trying to send? Hi, so with the tunnel, we put a dark cloth at both both names to create a darkness. Um, we made models of both the oppressors and children, which we made out of recycled material like cardboard boxes and old newspapers. We made posters that had images and words on them, such as depression, loneliness, pain, you know, stuff that the kids would go through. Um, we also invited teachers and members of staff, um, also the students, to visit and see what we did. We wanted to create an experience, so that's what we did. It wasn't just pictures on a poster or words being spoken. There was a very profound effect on the students. Um, during the research, when they were learning about Iqbal Masi, many of the students actually broke down and started to cry. And there was passion and emotion attached to, to the stories of um, child labor and Iqbal Masi. And the students actually said they wanted to spread the word about child labor and what, what can they do to make a difference. They asked to have an assembly where they will talk to the entire school population. And then they went to create the tunnel effect and they kept suggesting ideas of what they want to do, which showed that they were really young leaders. They were, they were transformed. And because of the tunnel effect, the, um, the other students and teachers who are not directly involved in the, in the project um, became curious and, you know, we got their attention. And I want to say thank you so much to we schools for making such a difference that they now believe their voice can be heard and they do make a difference and we transform the culture of the 
Well, you all should be so proud of yourself. What a great set of ideas to really make a difference. Let's touch base on the silent protest because it seems to have been one of your most successful ideas. Why do you think taking a vow of silence was the best way to actually spread your message? Hi. Well, labor is a really horrible and unnecessary practice that no child should have to go through on a daily basis or even at all. Many people put making money above the needs of children, and this could make kids feel a lot of pain, hopelessness, or like they treated as a piece of machine or worthless. And it's something that we can never truly understand, despite having a lot of empathy for them. The four activities which took place in the course of the day highlighted a different aspect of child labor and was supposed to be an eye-opening experience for the public. In the story of Iqbal Massey, it really showed how kids are afraid to speak out and to tell anybody how they are being treated because of the consequences of doing so. They are afraid of being beaten, killed, or chained, and this makes them, they're forced to suffer in silence. The silent protest was a way to show solidarity and respect to the victims of child labor, and our aim is to break that silence. I am so impressed. You all put so much effort into organizing such impactful activities for your school. So what is the message that you want to share to other students watching today? Perfect. That's amazing. In one day, you were all able to teach your classmates about the issue of child labor and inspire them to take action. And today, you shared your messages with other schools across the world. In fact, we have a special video message from some people who wanted to let you know how much you've inspired them. Let's take a look. Thank you, Brazil Secondary Schools, from all of us here at St. Delphi's Catholic High School, Cardiff. From all of us in Tacoma. From all of us here in Chicago. From us in Castro. From all of us in London. From all of us here in Toronto, Canada. From all of us in Eden Paul, Washington. Thank you. We are stronger together. Hello, Brazil Secondary School. This is Marsha Montano and I wanted to send a quick message to congratulate you for the amazing work that you're doing. By taking action on such an important cause, you are inspiring others along the world to take action too. Seeing such an inspirational group of young people making a difference makes me proud, and I think you're making the entire world proud. When we come together and work as one family, we can achieve anything. Brazil Secondary School, you inspire me. Keep changing the world. Peace and love. Brazil Secondary, your drive and passion to create change has truly moved me and so many others watching, even Michelle Montano. Give yourselves a round of applause. Now, I think all this hard work deserves a pretty special reward. So, we have a surprise, actually a couple surprises for you. First, we have some awesome merch for you to wear so that you can rep We Day all year round. Bring in the t-shirts and Rafiki's, We Team. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. But here's the best part. We is coming to Trinidad and Tobago this summer for an amazing We Day event. And at this year's We Day Trinidad and Tobago show, you are all receiving a one-of-a-kind We Day VIP experience. It's pretty cool. You want to know what you're going to do? What that means? Well, you can wear those shirts and rafikis during your exciting backstage tour and even during your own onstage segment where you will share your story and inspire thousands of other change makers. How cool is that? Ready. Yeah? Are you ready for it? Yeah. Okay, make me proud. Thank you so much, Brazil Secondary School, for joining us again today and for all the amazing work you've been doing. Continue making change, and we will see you at the next show. Bye. Bye.